Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Maria, and if you're not, hello again, and thank you very much for watching. So I know makeup is not something you wear only on special occasions. It's uh, something that most of you wear on a day-to-day -day basis to work or school or something like that. And usually you don't need a full glam makeup for that. You just want something that seems uh, seamless but nice and elegant and beautiful. So that's something I'm going to do now. I'm going to film a makeup tutorial for work or school. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned and watch the video. Okay, so if you're going to wear your makeup to school or work, you have to be mindful of two things. So the first one is that you'll probably be wearing that makeup for at least eight hours. So it has to be long lasting. And the second thing is that you're going to be wearing it during the daytime, which means everything will be visible on your face. So it has to look flawless. It's it's not supposed to look um, too makeupy, and yeah, the first thing you can do to prolong the wear time of your makeup and to make your makeup look flawless is prime your face. So uh, use a moisturizer. That's your first step, and then after that, uh, you can use a primer. Uh, this is a very important step and you have to be mindful of which kind of primer you choose. So if you have oily skin, it's important to choose a mattifying primer rather than a mattifying foundation because it will keep the oils at bay and the oils won't dissolve your makeup and a mattifying foundation is much more visible in the daylight so I would avoid it. Uh, I have some texture issues, so this is going to be perfect for me. Today I'm using the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. So I'm going to prime my face now. Okay, so the next step is the foundation. You can use a BB cream as well. That might be a better solution, but I'm going to use a foundation and I'm going to walk you through some of my foundations and tell you uh, how well they perform in the daylight. I haven't tested them all in the daylight yet. And I was thinking about doing a video where I would test all of them in the daylight and show you uh, what they, each, what each of them looks like in the daylight but straight off the bat I can tell you this one looks flawless in the daylight I love this foundation it's very full coverage it's $13 and it's seamless on the face which is amazing I'm going to be wearing this one uh, this one is a little bit more expensive uh, it's medium coverage and it's also very seamless on the face. I love this one as well. This one tends to be seamless on the face, but it's not very long lasting. That's my only issue. This is the Ilamasca Skin Base Foundation. The previous one was Makeup Forever Ultra HD, but I'm sure you've already seen this one all over in the internet. And the last one is this from this one from L'Oreal. This one has a very thin formula, so it's not very visible on the skin and it looks very, very nice. I don't know about the longevity though, so yeah. If you're going to use a foundation on the face, I suggest using a beauty blender of some sorts or a Real Techniques sponge. Those are good as well. Brushes can sometimes leave streaks, which can be visible in the daylight, or if you use your hands, that can also leave streaks. So get this guy, it's very, very worth it, believe me. 
So yeah, I'm going to apply the foundation now. I like this foundation for the daytime as well because it's not too matte or too dewy, it looks very natural on the face. The other thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to choose the correct shade. So don't go with the shade lighter or the shade darker because if your foundation wears down throughout the day it will be very visible on the face. If it melts into your skin and your skin color it won't be visible which is an awesome thing and you won't have a line over here as well so yeah be sure to blend it, blend it down the neck as well a little bit okay so the next thing is the concealer i'm going to use this liquid camouflage high coverage concealer from catrice this is a great concealer and i won't apply much just a little tiny bit And I'm going to set my makeup now using the RCMA Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This dries out your foundation and makes it last a long, long time, which ensures that all of your other powders that go on top, like the blush, uh, go on smoothly and evenly, they don't grab to the foundation and make for a patchy application. So yeah, <laughs> let's apply the other powders now. Okay, now I'm going to bronze my face using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And this middle shade over here, I'm using a big fluffy brush and yeah, I'm going in. I'm going to add a little bit of blush. I'm using this Essence Matte Touch Blush. I'm applying just a tiny bit of everything and making sure that everything is nicely blended out. Now it's time for the highlighter. I would suggest a liquid highlight, something like this. I love this one. This is in the shade Moonlight from Cover Effects, but it's very expensive. I think Makeup Revolution started making something similar. But in today's video, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. So why would I suggest a liquid highlight? Because it melts into the skin and it looks flawless while something like a powder usually tends to stay on top but these powders are very nice and smooth so I'm going to go with the Anastasia today and I'm using this shade this is my shade summer and I'm going to apply it on the high points of my cheek just a little bit Okay, so now it's time for the eyes. For my brows today, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Brow Artist 
designer pencil and I've got my eyebrows microbladed so I don't need much, just a tiny touch up because I mess them up with my foundation. Now I'm going to prime my eyes using the MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre, but you don't need to do this, you can just add a tiny little bit of concealer on your eyelids and you're good to go. Well, not good to go yet, but soon. <laughs> Okay, now for the eyeshadows, today I'm going to use uh, this palette. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I think everyone can do a nice everyday look with this one. It has very nice shades, so I really, really love it and it smells amazing. So I'm, to, I'm going to go in with this color over here to set my base first. Then I'm going to use this very fluffy brush and these two shades over here and I'm going to add just a tiny bit of dimension. I have defined the crease a little bit, now I'm taking this uh, nectar color, it's a golden color and applying it all over the lid. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that color Luscious, slightly darker but very shimmery and applied to the outer part of the lid. And I think I'm done now with the eyeshadow. Okay, so I won't add any eyeliner or anything like that, but what I sometimes also do is take my brow pencil, the one that I use on my brows, and add a little bit of smokiness almost in my upper lash line so it's not visible at all but it makes the illusion of having much thicker eyelashes so just in this outer part Now it's time for the mascara. Today I'm going to use this Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour mascara. This is a great mascara. For the lips I would suggest just applying some lip liner and a lip gloss. Today I'm using this NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Color Lip Liner. And this is the shade Bed Rose. I'm adding this NYX lip gloss and the shade is 
food cake. These are amazing by the way, they have a lot of beans. And at the very end I'm going to use some setting spray. Uh, this is an important step because whenever you use some powders on your face they're going to be very visible in the daylight. So this melts them into your skin and they're not visible. If you're using a setting spray that can prolong your makeup life that's a very good thing too. Today I'm going to use this MAC Studio Fix that I made at home. And it's very very good I'm going to link that video at the end this is just going to melt the powders on my face and everything will look nice and unified and flawless this is what my makeup looks like in the daylight but there isn't much daylight left Okay, so this is the final look and I hope you like it and I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, leave it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I post videos twice a week and I really hope to see you again soon. Bye!